means a lot. It feels like a second home. We've got the best fans in the league. We have such a supportive atmosphere. When you go out on the field, you feel the electricity. You know the crowd is your back. When I go to the grocery store during the season, everyone's asking about how the game went. Everyone's patting me on the back for a good win. Everyone's giving me their good advice if the game didn't go so well. It's a really cool place to play. And you know, this is 10 years coming up, it feels like home. It was very important for me to be able to continue my career here and to have some more long-term stability, which is one of the reasons I extended. This feels like my team. It is my team. I've been here for so long. I don't feel like I'm some mercenary bouncing around to the highest bidder all the time. It means something to me. I've got some unfinished business here. I mean, there's nothing more that I'd want than to win a cup here in Hamilton. And you know, I feel pretty good about 2016. It's great to have stability on the offensive line. We have a very strong Canadian core. We've got some great guys in there. Mike Filer, really good, strong, dependable guy at center. Bombin, very athletic guy, very dependable guy. Obviously the team's happy with me. They're keeping me there. <laughs> And we've got some good tackles too. We have a really good line and you want to have that stability, that continuity on your line. That communication that we develop between ourselves plays such a big role. You know what, it was such a big transition for me coming from the college game to playing professional football. I was more or less just worried about getting a job and staying on the team and getting on the field and playing and getting starts. You know, thinking about 10 years down the road, I don't think it crossed my mind, but it's grown. Over time, over the years, this has become more and more my team. This is you know, where I want to be. First, the team chose me. You know, they picked me in the draft. I came here because they picked me. But now over the years, time and again, I've chosen this team. You know, I've played out contracts. I've had the opportunity to go elsewhere, and I've always wanted to come and stay here. Well, you know, Whenever you get up there in years, and I've certainly outplayed the average now, you get to year 10, people ask how long do you want to do it for. So I tell people, well, you know, conservatively, I probably only have six or seven years left, so I want to make the most of them. I think to have that longevity, you have to take care of your body. It takes a bit of luck too, but more than that, it takes a lot of very serious, dedicated, conscious work. I feel like I spend more time now than I did early in my career looking after my body, taking care of myself, training in the off season, doing maintenance and rehab during the season. I mean, during the season, I'll be here 12 hours some days. Like you put in some very long days uh, during the season especially. And during the off season too, every year I have a very deliberate planned process that I go through to get ready for the season. Grey Cup is the goal every season and that's why we put the cleats on and go out in training camp. We're here to win a Grey Cup. You know, it's not good enough to have a bunch of wins, it's not good enough to make the playoffs, we have to win a Grey Cup. You know, I've been at this too many years to go through the whole process, two a days, training camp, to come up short. You know, I'm here to play the best football I can possibly play and to win a great cup. And if I get something else along the way, so be it.